and welcome back to Miss R's class. I hope everyone had a great weekend and I'm glad to see everyone joining me today. Hi, Sherlyn. Hi, Aaliyah. Hi, Edwin. Hi, Andy. And hi, Jiren. And anyone else that might be joining us, welcome. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday and tomorrow will be Tuesday. So today we're in a brand new month. The month is May, so May 4th is today. We only have a couple more weeks of school and then we'll be done for a little while until summer school starts or ESY. Okay, so nice that you all have joined me. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. And today's programming will be brought to you by teachloveautism.com. All free resources, I use for almost every week, free resources, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the pledge. There's our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay, go ahead and remove your hand from your heart. Okay, so we're gonna start with our first step board. First, we're gonna work, then we're gonna have free time. So first work, then free time. Don't you okay. my channel for the free time? Yep. Today <laughs> and I'm posting, uh, no, no. Um, yesterday I posted, or today, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know about, I don't know what, what day my editor is going to post it, but I'm going to be posting cookies. Yep, okay. I am not going to spoil it. No, you're not going to spoil it, but I'm glad that you said that, Gianna. Okay. So what we're going to be working on is shapes today. These are task cards is what they're called. And once again, it's from Teach Love Autism, totally free. You can run them off and it just tell, it just reinforces what shape. So today we're going to talk about circles and triangles. I break it down depending on the disability and where the student is academically as to how many shapes I will introduce. And then we just do it repetition, repetition, repetition. Um, once again, in the classroom, these are usually laminated, but whenever I'm using them at home for one or two times, I just use regular sheets of paper. So first, we're going to look at circles and triangles. Circles and triangles. Okay, this is a triangle. has three sides, three points, one, two, three. That's a triangle. Okay, so we're going to look for the a bunch of triangles yep. inside. We're going to look for triangles oh, and... Okay, hold on. Circles. Circles have no points and it goes completely all the way around. Okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to look on the cards and see which one is which. Okay? So let's go ahead and start with the one we just did. Which one, this is the triangle, which one matches? Which one of these is a triangle? Go ahead and point to it. Correct. That one is the triangle, the triangle middle one. Okay, the next one is going to be a circle. We're looking for a circle to match to this circle. No points. Okay, you want to come over here and do it for me real quick, Gianna? Which one is the circle? This one. That one. Right here's the circle. That matches. Good work. Okay, let's do another circle. Okay, you can go ahead and go over there. Okay, we're looking for a circle. There's a circle right here in our frying pan. We're looking for a circle to match that circle. Which one is the circle? Let's look real hard. Is it this one, this one, or this one? Go ahead and choose. You can point to it. Yes, it's the center one. It's the circle. Good work. Next, we're doing that triangle again. Oh, this looks like some yummy pizza. Okay, we're looking for a triangle to match. This is the triangle shape. We need to know which one of these is a triangle. They also have something in there that looks like a triangle, but it is not. The triangle has three points. One, two, three. So which one of these is a triangle? This one has four points. One, two, three, four. That is not the triangle. Okay? Yep, right here. That is the triangle, the middle one. Good job. Looking for a circle again. Where's the circle? This looks like a delicious orange. Want to eat lots of those right now to stay healthy. Okay, which one is the circle? 
Good work. It's the one in the center. It matches the circle that's up above. The circle. Good job. We're looking once again for a triangle. So this is a sign of animal crossing, a survival sign. Which one matches the triangle up here? Is it this one, this one, or this one? Go ahead and pick. Very good. It is this one. It has three points. One, two, three, just like the one up above. That's the triangle. Good work. You're working really hard today. Okay, next we're going to have the pizza. This is a big pizza. The last pizza we saw was slice of pizza, so it was a triangle. But this is much different. This is going to be the whole pizza, which is a circle. It has no points because none of the pizzas are taken out. So which one of these is a circle? This one, this one, or this one? Go ahead and pick. Good job. This is the circle. Good work. Okay, this one might be a little difficult, but it is in there. It is a triangle. It has three points. One, two, three. Okay, which one of those match that triangle? Let's go ahead and see. One, two, three. Yep, that is a triangle. That is good work. You've worked really, really hard today. We're going to go ahead and review a couple real quick. And remember that we are looking for circles. So we'll start with this one is going to be a circle. 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 Okay, so let's go ahead and review. Where is the circle at? We just did this one. Good job, that is the circle. Nice work. Okay, looking once again for that circle. Needs to match the one that's up above. Circle. Let's look at it. That is the circle. Good work. Once again, looking for a circle. Looking for the circle. It needs to match this one. Let's look which one's the circle. Good job, that is the circle, nice work. Next is the circle. Okay, show me which one's the circle. Right there, that's the circle, good job. Okay, next we're just gonna focus once again on our triangles as a review and then we'll close out. Okay, so our triangles have three points. And they can be on the side or they can be regular, three points. That is a triangle. One, two, three. Three points for our triangle. Okay, let's look for our triangle in our pass cards. Which one's the triangle? Matches this one. One, two, three. Three points. Which one? That's a hard one. Yes, this is the triangle. Good job. Next is our slice of the pizza. When the pizza is whole, it is a circle, but when you take a slice out, it is much different. One, two, three. Three sides, which means it is a triangle, not a diamond but a triangle, it has three points. Nice work. Next, we have our survival sign of animals crossing, which is also a triangle. One, two, three. Let's look for our triangle. Go ahead and point to it. Good work, that is the triangle. Nice work. And here's our other one. And as Gianna had mentioned, it's got lots of little triangles in there, as you can see. A big triangle, one, two, three, that's the triangle. We're looking for the triangle to match that one. Which one is it? Good job, that is the triangle, good work. Okay, you guys did fantastic today. So you're gonna be able to have free time. So remember we worked and now we get free time, but real quick, Friday we're making pudding. Okay, so if you'd like to make pudding with us, go ahead and join us. We're gonna go ahead and make it. That's our fun Friday this week, yummy vanilla pudding. Okay, have a great day and I hope everyone stays safe, stays healthy and I will see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Thank you. Bye-bye.